Thank you for choosing Chitin Q9. Now we are going to give you an operation training. Part 1. Start the system. To get started with the Chitin Q9, press the power button located in the upper left hand side. Hold it down until you hear it begin. Part 2. Scanning and Adjustment When the system is ready, firstly, we are going to establish patient's information. Use the patient key to start a new patient record. Edit the current patient data, patient ID, patient name. You can input any other information you want. When we are ready, click OK to save it. Now, to start exam, we are going to select this probe icon. This is the main exam. Two probes are available. Each probe has several applications, each application with several presets. This is also where it would show any custom presets, such as down here. We are going to choose linear probe, vascular application, and the carotid preset. Double-click carotid to enter into scanning interface. Now we are in mode B. In this mode, we will adjust again depth, focus position to make the image in a more suitable status. Twist the button B to adjust the overall gain, while slide the different segments of TGC to change the gain of different depths. Steer this depth pedal up and down to adjust the depth, while steer the focus pedal up and down to adjust the focus position. Up top, we have our image optimization controls. Here we have our frequency, dynamic range, and as I showed before, twist and press this to get a different value. For example, press this button to change the frequency and twist the button to change the dynamic range. We have some secondary image optimization controls by pushing down this menu button. On the top left side of the screen, several other parameters are available. Biopsy will give me the biopsy guide. And we have our utility menu down below. When we are done, press exit. What's more, as I mentioned before, one key to optimize the image is available. Press AIO. With just one key, the quality of the image can be in a suitable status. What is worth mentioning is that we have 2B mode and 4B mode. For example, 2B mode. Without screen, click for the first and get one active. Push it again and the next become active. Back and forth allows you to switch between those. Push on the single key to go back to the single B mode. Same works for the cold screen. Press button C to enter into C mode. In this mode, we generally adjust the position of the simple box. PRF and invert. Move the trackball to place the sample box in the target position. Twist the button C and the steer PRF pedal to adjust the blood filling degree. Press invert key to change the color direction of the blood flow. Same as the B mode. There are also other parameters for you to adjust to improve the image quality. What's more, we can use Dowplex to do the B mode and the C mode scanning at the same time, also in real time. Press button D to enter into PW mode. In this mode, we use Spectrum help us to do the examination. Press update to active the Spectrum. Twist button D to adjust the gain. Steer PRF and the BL pedal up and down to adjust the detect capacity as well as the position of the baseline. Press invert to change the direction of the spectrum. What is worth mentioning is that we can do auto calculation separately when the spectrum is activated. Besides, Codeplex is available which means we can do real-time B mode, C mode, PW mode, and auto spectrum calculation at the same time, which greatly do good to the scanning efficiency and accuracy. 
Part three: Measurement, Annotation, Body Mark, and Save. After getting a high quality image, we need to do some measurements. We have fast measurement and calculation package measurement for your choice. Let's take distance measurement for example. Press this button. You will see line segments on the interface. Press update to change active point. Move the trackball and press enter to confirm. If you want to do professional measurement, please hit the calc. We have our calc package. Here it shows vessel. It has all the calculations here for vessel. Press change to change the calc package. We do have the URL, small parts, pediatrics, carotid, cardiac, abdomen, GYN, OB. What is worth mentioning is that we can adjust the front size and position for the result. What's more, we can do user-defined calculation package. Press the setup key to choose measurement. In this interface, you can add or delete the calc item. If necessary, we need to do some annotations. Press annotation button to enter into annotation mode. We can just stop typing liver. You can backspace to delete. Move the trackball to position it and click enter. We can also add our own quick comments. Here at number four, we click edit and it, it will allow me to add six custom comments that would come down right here for quick use. You would enter it here. Click OK. So if you would want to add that, we'll use this input. I want to select text one, push down for input, and it automatically goes up on the screen. I will click enter. And I can move it elsewhere on the screen and click enter again. We can change the font size. Or we can reset to the original. We can change the home position by clicking load. To clear those comments, we will use the delay key. Just press it once and it clears all comments. After the image is ready, what we need to do is to save images. Press one key to save the image or the scene. We can save the image and the scene both in real time and in frozen status. If you want to recall, just need the cursor button and move the cursor to the interest image or scene and click enter. Part 4. Report, Print and Image Export. Now let's generate a report. This little documents icon right here takes us to the report page. Here we show the full report and the measurements that I took. We can edit the measurements by clicking on edit. You would simply type in this box and it will edit the report. Patient information. Click exit. Show a graph or something like an OB report. You can also add images to the report by clicking on them and they will show up in that report here. Now, I have images added to my report. Press the print key to print the report in a different format. We can both spot video printer and the PC printer. As the images has been saved in this machine, we have several ways to export them to the USB disk. First, insert the USB disk. Press the archive key. Select archive. Then you can choose send or backup the images. We can choose different format for the images when you do this transfer. BMP, JPG, DICOM, PNF, TIFF. And the scene will be transferred to AVI format directly. So you can read it on the PC directly. Part 5. System setting. After the entire workflow, I'd like to show you something new about our system setting. In the system setting interface, several items will be shown in front of you to make your operation more streamlined and more humanized. Okay, so let me show you one by one. In general setting, we can set the hospital name, date, and time. 
Also, we can change language without restarting. Another thing is we can use the foot switch as a hotkey to do the shortcuts. Amendment user defined is available. You can add amendment and formula on each probe, each preset, each mode without number limited. In comment interface, add or delay comment for each preset as well as set the font and font size of the comment are available. Make your comment look so specialized. What's more, in the report setting interface, you can set the hospital logo and the layout by yourself to make your report more personalized. Also, report diagnose template is available, which will do great convenience for doctor's daily work. Unlimited number of user-defined presets is available in preset interface. User can add preset conveniently. System interface is used for unit maintenance, system upgrade, license control, system lock, and so on. Here I want to mention that upgrade is quite easy. Download the latest software to the USB, connect to the system, be recognized automatically, press one key, finish the upgrade.